It's really no shade. The girls be like, what is it like being an influencer? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, reporting live, me and my coach bag child. You know what I'm saying? And when you come up in this restaurant with me, act like you got some decorum, okay? And we not stealing none of them people, uh, knives, plates, and forks, okay? We gonna have some class, cause we in a classy area, so we, we ain't gonna do that. Hold on, this some tough ass cow. You know, this is the life of a star. Hold on, my man just takes me, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I am back. Let's make sure this is focused. And I am currently about to go out to Miami. You get what I'm saying? Touch the town just a little bit. See what's, see what's the tea, see what it's giving. And yeah, y'all gonna come with me. I just wanna take a moment and I just wanna take a moment to be grateful. I wanna take a moment to be thankful. I just wanna take a moment to thank God because it's really no shade. The girls be like, what is it like being an influencer? The real question is, what is it like to live out your dreams? Y'all, listen, I am, again, girl. So, one thing about me, I grew up in the house. When I was a kid, my mama didn't let me get out the house. So, girl, I took it upon myself. Now that I got a car, like, girl, I'm finna go travel. I'm finna go get outside. So, I decided to take my ass once more back again to Miami. Part two, we gonna get somewhere. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to, like, I'm gonna try and find some type of restaurant. I was gonna shop out here, and I still am. I'm gonna find a shopping center. But, y'all, when I tell you I am so nervous on this road, Oh my God, I don't know Turn what I'm doing. To Southwest. I don't know what I'm doing. Avenue okay, girl. You hit me talking. <laughs> this bar and grill child girl i don't know what i'm doing girl i don't know where i'm at girl girl i don't know what's going on right now but all i know is that bitch like like silly said ho i'm here i'm here so we about to go into the bar and grill and i ain't getting no luck uh i'm just here to you know you know buy you a drink Ooh -wee. you know the coach bag gonna be with me everywhere i go yeah so we finna come up in here and y'all, we need to chat because we got some things that we need to talk about. So go ahead, you get them. See, and when you come up in this restaurant with me, act like you got some decorum, okay? And we not stealing none of them people uh, knives, plates, and forks, okay? We gonna have some class because we in a classy area, so we we ain't gonna do that. She asked me if I wanted to partake in a happy hour. No, ma'am, girl. I don't want no liquor. I don't want no liquor, girl. I want me to get on them drugs. I'm stepping out again. I've been telling everybody that I'm just like stepping out in faith and I'm, 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 you know, doing my new thing. I'm doing my own thing. I'm not allowing fear and old stuff to hold me back. And that's very much so valid and true. But at the same time, I'm not going to even hold you. I've been like mad anxious, like on top of being mad anxious, it's just like everything is causing me to just be so afraid. Because when I was growing up, I was always sheltered. Like my mama always had me in the house. I was never outside. So it's like being sheltered and being in the house so much has left me unprepared for life. And now here I am taking life, like taking the bull by the horns. And honestly, the bull is dragging me. The bull is dragging me down. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm going. I'm about to, you know. Ooh, look at the food. Okay, nah, that's somebody else's food. I thought that was my food. The thing about chasing your dreams is, you know, everybody be like, oh, chase your dreams, chase your dreams. Go after what it is that you want. Go after what it is that you want. But understand that chasing your dreams comes with so much uncertainty because when you're used to being small and when you're used to playing it safe, Betting on yourself is doing it big. And a lot of people don't know what doing it big is like because they've never done it big before. And here I am doing it big when I've only done it small and it's taking everything in me. I, I've never done this before. 
I'm literally in a place I don't even know where I'm at, in a restaurant I've never been before, doing something I've never been before, in brand new clothes. Everything on me pretty much damn near is brand new. Doing something I ain't never did before, driving a brand new car, like living a brand new life. It's like everything is just brand new. And that sounds beautiful. But like I said in my previous video, it's hurtful when you see yourself excelling and doing all of the things that you always wanted to do with the people that you love and wanted to do it with are gone. So it's like, I don't know, like I'm happy. But it's like, here I am at a dining table eating all by myself. And I don't got no problem because I'm a soldier and I love being, you know, in my own world. But it would be nice to have company, especially when you're so used to being alone. I'm really learning how to be in the moment because when you're chasing your dreams and when everything is so uncertain, it's hard for me to take in what's going on right now. Like I'm here right now and I'm in front of everybody and whatever, I'm at this restaurant but I'm not even present right now. Like I'm somewhere else. So I'm gonna do some breathing. And we're gonna chat a little bit later, y'all. I'll be back. Nah, daughter, you know this some straight bullshit, bro. They ain't gave me not not one knife. No shade. The salad was tea. The salad was really good. But look at look at the decoration. What what? No shade, no shade. Oh, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna show you. She's a lovely because this ain't got no decoration. This ain't got no kind of appeal on the plate. They could have, um, they got a lower head version. They could have at least came over here and gave me a little bit of positive on the plate, girl. They didn't give me nothing, girl. They didn't even give me a knife, girl. And, girl, you know I'm from the hood, girl. I could have went to, uh, to Chili's and Applebee's and they would have did me more fab than this, girl. Don't make no girl, let me go, girl. But look at this ring. Girl. It's no shade. The fries, the fries is good. At first, I was going to complain because I was like, good, they ain't gave me not a fork, not a knife, not a napkin. But then I realized they did. I'm about to cut into this steak and we about to chat. Let me get y'all a better angle so y'all can see the food, honey. Girl, no shade. Never mind, I'm the star. But anyway, she not, she not bad like that. I'm going to just tell you now, she not bad. Some A1 sauce. Some tough ass cow. Wait, steak is cow, right? Okay. Well, anyway, y'all, so, you know, my biggest thing right now is, first of all, I just want to say thank you to any girl. She's she very loud in my background, but I just want to first say thank you to any and everybody that's watching my journey. Because, you know, this is technically my come up. They tough it. This cow tough as hell. It just strangling me. Oh my god. Kinda, he kind of fine. I'm focusing on prayer, and I'm also focusing on learning how to be present in the moment. And how to how to create internal safety. Cause I don't be feeling safe. Everything be having me feel like I'm da I'm in danger. And I'm just working on that. I'm just working on feeling safe and feeling grounded. Cause I don't feel grounded. I feel at war. I'm here today, and I took myself out as a me. I took myself out today to celebrate all of my success. One more time and I'm cutting it. 
I took myself out today to celebrate my success because I'm super proud of myself. And this is bigger than just a car. This is me stepping out on faith. This is me getting a car. This is me getting a home. This is everything I've done and everything I'm about to do. Because I never celebrate myself. And this is me taking the time to celebrate myself. So if you'll excuse me, give me some privacy. All right, y'all, so I'm leaving from the place or whatever. I just wanted to give myself a celebratory dinner because what's the point of me making all of these accomplishments if I'm not gonna celebrate them? So, you know, yeah. I was gonna get on here and show y'all my car, but girl, nah. I'm not, mm-mm, no. Cause who is that? Oh, I thought I knew him, he kinda fine, ooh. Oh my god, we could be together. I could be y'all. I could be y'all boo. And he backing in. He wanna see me. Hold up, hold on. Let me put the camera down. Hold on, cause he might come over here and wanna talk. I'm joking. Oh never mind y'all. He old. He an old man. Uh-uh. I don't talk to old man. So <clears throat> I'm about to go ahead and head home. That about wraps everything up for this vlog. I appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you so much. I love you so much. I am about to go head to Walmart, child, but that ain't nothing to show y'all, girl. It's just, it's Walmart. Uh, no shade. I'm going to get better and better at these vlogs because, honey, I be forgetting to put on this camera and it be, it be too much going on. But, yeah, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it give. Y'all know who the one and who's not the two. Oh, uh, okay. Go ahead and don't forget to hit, you know, the thumbs up, the subscribe, the share. You know what I'm saying? Get the wired at. Yeah. Uh oh and check out my YouTube. I mean check out my Instagram because it's going down. Meet me on the gram. It's going down. Bye, have a beautiful thing.